So good morning, everyone. Just by the way, that was really nice. That's, that's, yeah, I think you all need to uh, run off. Uh, that was really very nice. Um, so quick, let's go through the protocols because we're really here to, to celebrate you all, to speak about the last two weeks, and then to you know relax a little bit afterwards. Um, so quickly. Um, Mr. Gabri Maktir, Director of Physical Education and Sport. Mr. Ephraim Serrett. Yep, I just studied all the accolades. But for now, consultant and sport company. He was also a member of the, the group that went to Jamaica earlier this year. Former national athlete, record holder in Fiali Dickinson, track and field aficionado. Good morning. Just came in from Budapest this morning, so you kind of, if you find me, kind of sleepy is the jet lag. Dr. George Dawkins. Um, principal, no principal, GC Foster. Participants, colleagues from GC Foster, um, colleagues from Sport, Minion King, Minion, you'll have to forgive me because I can't remember. Curriculum Officer, Department of Coordinator, Curriculum Coordinator, the Curriculum Division, Ministry of Education. Thank you. So good morning, everyone. So again, my name is Kyron Serrett, and I'll time to quickly send us through our small program for today. Um, in terms of the acknowledgments, we just went through that. And again, we are just here to, to celebrate um, what we would have done, achieved together as a group over the last two weeks. Um, I think generally, we should be proud of everything that has happened, um, especially yesterday, looking at the, the sports day, which I'll touch on a little bit later on. Um, but just to get us through quickly, I'm just going to invite Mr. Gabri Maktir just to bring some quick remarks. Gabri. Good morning to all. All protocols duly observed. Um, the journey now starts, and it's not going to end now at all. 
All right, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, I believe that, as Kyron would have mentioned, this is definitely a celebration of uh, one taking taking what has been what what commenced in Jamaica one step further. I think many times what tends to happen is that we go on trips and come back, then you wonder, okay, well, what's the result of it? This is one of those results, and I'm really happy that this happened. And going forward, there is that aspect of the program that we want to implement, and how you, with this newfound knowledge, become a part of that program. Now, last time I was here, and I had given a, what I'd given minister's speech, I was um, quickly confronted, <laughs> and I say that gently, by four young ladies who from ECC wanted to know, well, how, how come ECC name get called? And I know ECC schools get called, <laughs> right? And what I want to say with respect to that to everybody is that as we roll out this program, understand that one, this is going to be a pilot. It means that not every school may get touched that you belong to. However, what we want to encourage is that you utilize and share this knowledge at the institutions where you are. Because the government has not or may not have at the point in time formally engaged your school, it doesn't mean you can't get to work. It doesn't mean you can't use the knowledge. It doesn't mean that you can't implement everything that you have been learning. And that's the very key to how we move forward. The government is committed, and when I say government, government and its agencies, being Ministry of Sport and Community Development, Ministry of Education, Sports TT, right, very much committed to making this happen. I could say that without any doubt at all. The members who would have gone to Jamaica, come back, who would have been part and parcel of making sure that this particular engagement happens, we are all extremely committed to making it happen. You would have seen myself and Kyron and Ephraim standing here talking and strategizing and discussing how it is we're moving forward because we are, we are very much invested in this. You may realize from Minister's discussions with you, she is extremely invested in this as well. And one of the things that is always very important when it is we are doing things from a government perspective is that political buy-in and political will. And when that, polit that politician is very much attuned to and willing to put forward what is necessary for us to move forward, that's a great thing. And we have to take advantage of it. But as I said, while we slowly roll this out, if it is your school hasn't been touched, still be at it. Share the knowledge. Share knowledge with colleagues from other schools who couldn't take part here today. Let them know, get them excited as to what is to happen. And let me put this out here too. If additional assistance is needed, by all means, through the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Sport and Community Development can be contacted for our grant fund program where equipment and other things could be accessed. Also, you have the Sports and Culture Fund that you can also access funding with respect to whatever programs you want to implement. So we are all here to support. We are all here to carry this forward for the development of track and field in the first instance and then spreading this to the development of sport in general as much as we can. Again, the journey now start, but it bloody well doesn't end here. All right? Thank you very much, and all the best to you. Thank you, Gabri. I found us particularly impressive that you just spoke from the heart, and as you know, the only thing is um, a lot of the things I was hoping to speak about, you've now gone and 
So yeah, so you'll forgive me. Yeah, forgive me if my address is particularly short. The only thing I wanted to, to add to what Gabri mentioned, um, in addition to the fact that we have a champion in um, Minnesota Sport and Community Development, um, the Honorable Shampo Kujo. I mean, you know, you know, seen her yesterday in sack racing. And, I mean, and if that is not an indication of how invested she is, I don't know what is. So um, one of the things I would have liked to, to say, and I'll probably say again, is, and to corroborate what Gabri is saying, we have to take advantage of champions at that level to an effort. That's us as the change agents. We have to take advantage of that because there, there are going to be times when people don't want to hear us, but things are aligning, so we have to, be, we have to take advantage of it. Um, in addition to that, I was also reminded that as much as the minister is a champion, there's an even higher champion in terms of the prime minister, because it's him, through him, that they would have had these conversations with the prime minister of Jamaica. And I know the minister would have mentioned that with the Honorable uh, Holness. And uh, they wanted to initiate this project. So it is something that the prime minister is also looking to see what comes of it. Our minister is driving, and now we are here. So we, we are in a good place for that change, and, and I think we need to be heartened by that. So moving along, I'm now going to give way to Ms. Minyan King to bring remarks on behalf of the Ministry of Education. Good morning, everyone. So I must start by giving an a uh, hearty, hearty thank you to Dr. Dawkins and his team from the GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sport in Jamaica. I must express appreciation as, appreciation as well to the Ministry of Sport and Community Development and the Sports Company of Trinidad and Tobago. Hearty congratulations to teacher participants and coaches. You have attended, you have engaged, and you have learned. And in education, we see once there is learning, there is change or impact in behavior and decision-making process. <clears throat> While the numbers were small, and I'm thankful that Mr. McTeer did see that it's a pilot project. He has said it before, and it was emphasized then. I'm happy. So while the numbers are small, it, I'm making an appeal, appeal for the application of the concepts that were learned. As you go back to your schools, and this is in particular reference to the ECCE teachers and the primary teachers, as you go back to your schools, I implore you to take up lead positions in your schools. And while the dynamics are variable across schools, I want to encourage you. And um, while I'm encouraging you, I'm also mindful of the participation that I saw yesterday. And if that is by any means, uh, con I'm convinced that you will go back to your schools and apply because you, you clearly have shown that you understand and you want to make that impact. So I, we look forward to application of the skills that would have been learned. Um, in terms of the coaches, and I did uh, mention it before, I'm appealing to you as well to invest in the secondary schools program, invest in your track and field, uh, um, approach the schools through the Ministry of Education coaching policy, there is a space for you. In terms of the curriculum division to which I am attached, I want to acknowledge my two colleagues who are here, Ms. Shelley Slater, curriculum officer attached to the Port of Spain and Environs Education District, and Ms. Judith Ann Robertson Daniel, curriculum officer attached to the St. George East Education District. And my colleagues here, along with my unit at the curriculum division, is staffed with 12 curriculum officers, 12 officers, two coordinators, 10 officers, one or two kind of on their way out, or more or less on their way out. Nonetheless, the division and the phys ed unit is committed to visiting the schools, meeting with you teachers who are here to support and monitor the application of the skills that you, that you would have learned here, as well as if it's a program, they are committed to support you and give you whatever necessary guidance is expected. Certainly, we do not live in the perfect world, 
So in conversations yesterday and the days that I have been here, um, not many, but I have been in contact with persons, um, the Ministry of Education will be reviewing its policies and its structures to see to what extent we can support the application of physical education and sport, and by extension, the relevant skills that we learn so that teachers can come out and apply. That's the only way we can effect change and make that impact. And I thank you, Mr. McTier, for talking about the pilot program. So we, we are, again, at the Ministry of Education, looking forward to the phase two of training by Dr. Dawkins and his team um, for the development of track and field among our student population. The journey has just begun. Thank you. Thank you, Minion. And um, I know we started to hear the beginnings of the clap, but I think we, do, we should give Minion a round of applause. Again, another something I wanted to mention, but it was really Minion's, Minion's um, news to bring um, in terms of what has already happened in terms of policy. I'll, I'll, I'll phrase it as policy change within the ministry to allow more sport and physical activity and then the practicing of that activity at the school level. I think it may have been day three when we would have just asked for feedback, general feedback from the participants. You all wrote on, on pieces of paper, 10 things you all wanted to see different, right? And um, I actually took that feedback to a meeting afterwards and, and skimming it, it all, a lot of the feedback suggested the bureaucracy and how we could, um, the policy makers, how the policy makers gonna change, et cetera, et cetera. So for us to be on the last day and for Minion, who has that authority to bring that, that news to come and say that that policy change has begun, again, I think, it, I think we need to be positive. <laughs> In, ter in, in terms of where we are and, and the journey we know about to embark on, um, in my opinion, I, think, I feel like the stars are aligning. We have a champion at the very highest level. We have a champion in terms of the ministry of the minister. Um, we have champions within the Ministry of Education, and now we have you all as change agents that are now going to go back to your different schools and inspire um, accordingly. So now is our opportunity to push things forward. So moving along, um, we have a, we're going to have a little slight break, um, and I'm going to invite Gwendolyn, yes, to, to do a, a little item from the, the participants. So I'm going to invite Gwendolyn to come up. Good morning, everyone. All protocols observed. Um, this was inspired by participating and seeing the joy, the camaraderie, and seeing how much you all appreciated coming here. And it's a poem written one evening when I got home to say there's no words, but it's called We Are Caribbean. There's no ocean too wide to, cross, too wide to cross. No boundary is too low. No land and seas not far apart, for sports has told me so. There's no difference that cannot be fixed. There's no dream that has failed to show. The oneness of a people with such pride to follow with open arms and so much to share. The pride and joy of a people that cared. Surmounted the troops filled with knowledge, off to a sister land to share with courage. With smiles and hope, the call was met. Jamaica, Jamaica, with thanks we have set. Separate and apart, but with spirits we conquered. Now we have come to the end of the sessions. All we can do is to show our appreciation. There's really no value 
to what we have earned. But we must say thanks for all lessons learned. The knowledge you share lingers in our minds. There's no price to what this can do. But from our hearts, with further ado, Jamaica, Jamaica, we love you. Wow. Thank you, Gwendolyn. That was uh, beautiful. Wow. Um, you know, just, it's, it's very simple. Again, I, I keep on talking about the stars aligning. You know, there's often conversations in terms of how, you know, sports and like, creative arts, how they often also so mix. So it's, it's, it's nice how that, that just kind of came out. Um, it kind of took me back to primary school um, in terms of when we had these sort of activities. I mean, I never did a poem well, but still, I, mean, I, I would have liked if I had that skill. That and drawing and painting is not my forte. But I mean, I'm really going to learn. I think she deserves another round of applause. That was really very nice. So again, just moving it along, I'm, I'm going to take the opportunity to bring some remarks. Um, just before the start of today, Judith mentioned to me that it should be brief. So in keeping with that, I'm going to keep it to 30 minutes. So thank you, Judith. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, oh, before I start, I just also wanted to acknowledge that we are streaming live to, um, on the GC Foster um, website. So, so for those who are following um, over in Jamaica, I just want to say welcome. And so, so just generally for us, and I am going to be brief because a lot of things we would have said already. We essentially had the two weeks of learning, um, capacity building, sharing, and what I will term now friendship, because I've seen, you know, people, you know, like the first day of school, you've seen people that you're not sure, and, you know, you sit down at the table to have lunch and so on, and, and now I would think that we have made some relationships, some connections that I hope and I strongly believe that will take us into um, all that we need to get done, both at a personal level and as a collective level. Um, the, I think the, 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 the opening song was fitting in terms of the journey now start. Gabriel and everyone has um, you know, re, reaffirmed that and I'm saying it again. We are now at the start of the journey and, and that relationship that we've built and we're going, con, going to continue to build is going to serve us well moving forward. We are now a community and I think it's going to be important and I think I know it's going to be important for us to build that community, bring people on board let them see how, how good it is to be invested in sport, how to share that passion, how to want to move things forward. And it's only through that then you will really see the fruits of our efforts. In terms of the, the different groupings, so the early childhood grouping was extremely passionate. And again, it was very heartening to see that in terms of you know, their involvement, very hungry for, for, for knowledge in terms of how they could go back and apply that. The primary, secondary schools, again, um, really very happy to see how you all would have taken the, the information on and open to all the exercises, all the activities. The coaches and administrators um, that were a part of it, I think, you know, looking at how the different days rolled out, and you know, having convers had conversations with, with George and even the team, because they would huddle, I don't know if you all saw, they would huddle after every day, just to think about how they're gonna plan for the next day. And you know, some people, I think maybe Steve might have asked, okay, do we separate them, and how do we, in terms of ensuring that we learn at the same time, and maybe it was Michael slash Miguel who would have made the suggestion, well, no, maybe we um, have them all together so that they, they, you know, they could have that sharing, and I would have seen that happen, and I'm sure everyone would have been appreciative of that opportunity to learn from the different groupings and now you know, have an all-rounded understanding of what is being taught. The, well, I've mentioned already from the Ministry of Education and, and Minion, and I just hope Minion knows, now that she's identified herself as a point of contact, that we will be talking very regularly um, to move this along. I know you can't hide Minion. Right, um, you know, you, you, you're going to be a key part of it. I know um, Director Singh, Anna Singh, if she was in the country, she would have been here. She is also, based on our meetings, she is also one who I believe firmly is also key and invested in this process. So with people like Anna, uh, Minyan, Judith, 
Ms. Slater, and, and everyone who's in the education system, we need to, to band together. We need to collaborate to make sure that this, this happens. I mentioned it really, we, we are the change agents. Um, Gabriel would have said, I mean, we all know how sometimes things work with government and so on. Yes, the government is invested. We're not going to be able to, as in we, as in the state, may not be able to, to impact everybody at the same time, but we have the knowledge. Um, we know what we want to achieve. Don't let anything prevent you from being that change you wish to see. Not to sound cliche, but it, it, it is what it is. If you want to see the change, you know, you need to go out and do it. What we could also do, because we are forming this community, um, you know, we, we could see how we could help make things better. If you have a, a principal who really not on the, the sports thing, you know, we could see how we could get around that. We could see how we could um, inspire them to see the benefit of it. This is, we, 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 we don't really have time for obstacles. We have lofty goals. We know what we want to achieve. We know what we want to see. So don't let things be a problem. There's nothing that I don't think we could, we cannot surmount. Somebody mentioned it yesterday. Yes, um, somebody mentioned it earlier in terms of the sports day. One, the organization. I was blown away, right? In terms of, where, where Miss Rhonda? Is Miss Rhonda? She not here? Okay, right? So I wanna say hats off. I know it's not a voter tanks, but I kinda thanking people, so forgive me. Um, the sports day yesterday, I think again, you all deserve a round of applause. <laughs> that sports day, I personally didn't realize it was all at that. All you, all you organize yourselves into the groups, people had flag, people do march pass. I mean, it was, no, really and truly, it was really a lovely sight to see how invested y'all were, how y'all prepared, how y'all executed for this thing. And I think, again, that augurs well to what it is we are trying to achieve. Um, the creativity, the organization, the passion, Happen on you with passion because my partner, I said my partner didn't take my, the, well, I want to say didn't take the, 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 um, the medal, but he wanted the recount. <laughs> <laughs> my boy wanted the recount, he was, he was convinced there was something, but I think all of that is important too from a, well, we're on the passion perspective, yes, but there's also the need for, for accountability. I mean, if there's nothing wrong, there's nothing in terms of explaining. So I think generally the whole exercise and even the, in, I don't even call it an incident, the fact that it happened also augurs well for us moving forward. And I want to thank you all for that from my perspective. And I think you all should be proud that there is that passion because we also want that passion to, to translate and transfer to, to the students and, and our charges and so on. That's what we want. We want people hungry, we want people, you know, focused on doing better and competing fiercely. I know I, I tried to break the ice yesterday and say, I know it's gonna be fierce and fun competition, but it seemed like it was very fierce. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and also again, uh, congratulations to y'all for that. Congratulations to y'all for yesterday because y'all pulled it together and it was well executed. Um, so just in terms of closing on my end, again, I know it's not supposed to be a vote of confidence, but I still going to vote of any vote of confidence. Wow. Vote of thanks. <laughs> too much news. Too much news. Sorry. Too much news. Um, I want to thank GC Foster. Um, one, Gabriel would have mentioned, you know, yes, we went earlier this year and, you know, sometimes it, it's just a lot of talk. I think we, we followed through, um, George being identified as a lead, you know, having any conversations. Um, pulling together the team. It, it was not as smooth. We would have had some challenges because um, for those who don't know, this was actually supposed to take place um, in July. So those who were able to shift their schedules to be here, even though there was a change, I you know, you know, it's your teachers, yeah, your vacation plan and so on. I don't point in any fingers. I know people came from, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know, in terms of the, the, the shifting of the, the time, um, so thank you all for being here. I know people also also dedi um, shown dedication because they came from, I'm going to say quite Tobago, but they came from Tobago and stayed for the entire time. Those who could, when they were able to come, they came. So I want to say thanks to them as well because again, that showed a lot of dedication to the exercise. Um, George and the team, thank you for still agreeing. Now we wanted to do this in July. We weren't able to do it. I think everything happened for a reason. I don't know that it would have been 
this well executed if we, had, if we did it in July. That's me personally. I am also personally very selfishly thankful that it did not happen in July because we also were in the midst of the Commonwealth Youth Games and I might have died. So, so I think, that, again, I think it all happened how it's supposed to happen. I want to say thanks to the teachers, administrators, the coaches. Um, you all really, very, you all really, really came in. You all gave of your effort, you all gave of your time. And we have to now go and implement in our different spaces. So um, congratulations to you all. And then just permit me as well to say come quick congratulations to my team at Sport Company. I have um, Francel in the back. Um, you'll probably seen doing a lot of run around. Irene came um, in the second week. And then Miss Calistra Gregoire, who you would have seen every day, working extremely hard. You know, took a lot of responsibility in terms of the coordination and so on, being here um, at the start. So I just want to say a public, very public thank you to Calistra for the work that you have done. Huh? Yeah, well, yeah. So, I mean, just a, a quick one. So as I said, we were heavily involved in Commonwealth Youth Games as Irene, uh, Calistra, well, Francel as well, Calistra and myself, heavily involved in Commonwealth Youth Games. So imagine having to take a break from all of the activity, and I just term it as that, to now break to discuss um, GC Foster and the planning in terms of what is required. So there's a lot of uh, character building going on during that, that time. And it, it, it did become tougher times, but um, I just want to say thanks to the team because it really was, a, it really was a, a challenging time, but we've, you know, I think by virtue of this, and then you all, how enthusiastic you all were, it really made it all worth it. And, you know, again, not sounding cliche, but it really did make it all worth it. So thanks to the team, thank you to Calistra um, for all that you've done. And um, yeah, I think that's it from in terms of my, my remarks and address. I think that was, I think that was five minutes, six minutes, right? So thank you. So moving along now, I'm going to give way to Dr. Dawkins to presentation. He, so Dr. Dawkins is going to give some brief remarks, brief like me, and, um, and then we'll move, I think we can move into the, the presentation straight after, right? Okay. Okay, established protocol observed. I want to come in, congratulate our participants. You have done extremely well. Give yourself a clap. As I listened to the remarks, I became inspired and almost wanted not to bring remarks but to give a keynote address. But I will, <laughs> I will not do so. <laughs> you know, it has been a wonderful experience in all dimensions, both from the training aspect, the social interactions, and the kinds of relationship that we have formed, and a clear intentionality on the part of the participants to implement. And so the focus of my remarks will be on the implementation of what we have started. It is said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first steps, begins with the first step. Now, I am not saying that this is your first step because I do acknowledge that TNT has made significant progress historically and currently in the field of physical education and sports. It was your great um, Asa Crawford who won the 1976 100 meters. It was it 100 or 200? 100. 100. And um, Don Quarry was beaten. And so we know the rich history that you have and there are certain commonalities between Jamaica and TNT from as far back as 1948 when both, both countries won medals. Um, and when we make recommendations for implementation, we're making this within the context of your structure, your system, your social and cultural orientation. Because very often, we tend to want to change radically and to put away with what you was before when it can be modified, amended, refined, enhanced. And so my remarks are within that context. So where do we go from here? You have gotten knowledge, not information, right? And you have gotten knowledge through a process whereby we 
a chart the concepts, the content, the procedures in terms of the theory. Then you were able to practice and you got practice with feedback, right? We did some modeling in between of what is required, but where do we go beyond this point? That's a critical question. The government of TT has made good investment in this program. And I want to tell you a little story, if I may. I'm going to exceed my five minutes, though. Uh, for a gentleman who won the 400 meters recently, Antonio Watson. The coach, at, he went to Petersfield, by the way, which is not one of those top schools like Casey, JC, George's, right? But his coach encouraged him to stay at Petersfield and to make himself available to the training that the coach was giving, and then handed him over to Glenn Mills. Are you with me? That shows commitment, that shows futuristic thinking, that shows a love for country, and an appreciation of periodization, in a, in a sense, in a, in, a, in a particular context. Because very often, like Jamaica, when we send many at least to take up scholarships abroad, without no apology, they were overworked. They ran many events because they were fulfilling a particular agenda of the funding agency. But we had Glenn Mills and Frano, now our great Morris Wilson at Sprint Tech, who decided that we're going to, even with a lack of resources, we're going to keep our hearties here. We're going to give them good food, good nutrition, and we're going to train them with less than ideal resources. And now we're world beaters. And so, dear participants, I'm saying to you, phase two will become a reality. We want to have circles of practice, circles of excellent practice. We don't want you to go with the knowledge. You must be an evangelist. You know what is an evangelist? You're going to preach the best practice. You're going to talk to stakeholders. You're going to have that passion and zeal and commitment to do. Because it has to be done. A lot of volunteerism will kick in. Right? It is not always about the money. <laughs> Many of us work because we love our schools. We love our country. We want the country to do well. And so I encourage you. I encourage you to implement what you have learned. We will spell out phase two for you, how it will be structured, how we will communicate with you, how we will receive feedback from you, and how we will support you technically and socially. And then phase three will come in, and we will further refine, define what phase three is. But the intention per proposal submitted is to have two of our best coaches. No, I shouldn't say that. Two, two other advanced coaches in Morris Wilson at the level five AF, along with Danny, and um, perhaps um, selected members of our team coming back to do advanced training with, with you, all right? So I thank you very much for your engaged listening. And we go forward under God to implement. Thank you. <laughs> now my second, my second task is a very pleasurable one. So I'm going to call on a very important person in the delegation, uh, Mr. Steve Davis, to come forward to receive our graduates. And I will do a little protocol that has to be done. So Mr. Steve Davis, Head of Recreation and Sports De Department, acting on behalf of the college's chairman of the academic board, I present to you, sir, 50 participants here present who have completed 60 hours of training and have completed four modules of instruction. Sir, further, they have satisfied all the requirements 
for the physical education and sports enhancement training program and are hereby ready to receive their certificate of competency. Thank you, George. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I must remark that on behalf of the people and government of Trinidad and Tobago, the Ministry of Sport and Community Development, Ministry of Education, and the Sport TT, I want to say thank you. But participants, you have won my heart, and I'm wondering if I should one day come to work in Trinidad. <laughs> My charge to you, though, is that you are a special breed. Those of us who coach, teach, and are administrators in sports in particular, we are a special breed. We have to be selfless, determined, passionate, and I'm going to put this in, I don't know how, but we cannot be looking for rewards because our thank yous are few and far between. Our blames are numerous, but because we're a special breed and we know that somebody must bear the cross, we need to remember that we are in an organization which says work, work, work. Those of us who coach and teach, we know that while we're driving, while we're sleeping, we're thinking about what next for tomorrow. Out of that will come the gratitude from one boy, one girl, and it makes a world of difference in your lives so that we are motivated to go again. But ladies and gentlemen, I tell you this, I have no doubt in believing that success will come from this program because of what I saw among you. I want to say thank you again. Yvonne. On calling your names, participants will now proceed to collect their certificates. Gabriel Andrew. Alexander Crawford. Antoine 
Sage Run Budan. Darwin Colfrost. Yana Glasgow. <laughs> Jehu Gordon. Candy John. Tanika John. John Charles. I 
Tyler Keith Wilson. Kennedy. April McClashy. Ramsharan Jason Roach.
Shelley Slater. Gwendolyn Smith. Kenesha Spencer. Jill Torres. Kelsey Toussaint Reed. Wellington. Catherine John Bristol. <laughs> Janelle Johnson Friday. <laughs> Finally, Rhonda Jones. We have some more participants. Chevron Penny. Daryl Ector.
Gabriel Williams. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Yvonne. Thanks, Karani. What? My humblest, humblest apologies to everybody that was at the christening. My apologies. Karani. 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 My apologies. My apologies. Again, just a round of applause for everybody. <laughs> Next on the agenda, we have some more. We have a presentation to the right. So we're going to invite Dr. Dawkins to make some presentations. Thank you, Chairman. OK, it is always a good thing to say thanks, all right? And I think it was Shakespeare who said, oh, sharper than a serpent's tooth. It is to have a thankless child. And so we're very grateful for many individuals who have played a significant part in the success of this initiative. And I'm referring to uh, Mr. Karen Serrett and uh, Calistra Gregor. I don't think I got your name right. Please forgive me. Uh, Calistra and, and Karen, can you come forward and receive a presentation? from our team members. They're gonna, Every team you have supporting players, right? Because they also play important roles, and we met uh, some wonderful individuals, right? Um, and I'm referring to the following persons who will come in the order that, that I call. Francel, can you come, Francel? <laughs> Um, difficult. 
quality assistance. Thank you very much. We also have tokens for a number of other individuals who we saw on a daily basis, very pleasant, but doing important work. We're talking about our photographer, cameraman, yeah. videographer, script writer, audio technician, and boomerang catering as well. So we'll go in order. <laughs> so Devon, can you come forward, brother Devon? <laughs> Then we have Shamar. Shamar? Mark, what a mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and where is Ronald? Script writer, videographer, man of all. Dane, where is Dane? Yes. Dane is not here? Okay, not a problem. And um, Lucky, where is Lucky? That's a good word. I like that word, Lucky. Miss Lucky, come, come here, Miss Lucky. From Boomerang Catering. We enjoy the meals, very delicious and well balanced. Came on time and serve with courtesy. <laughs> Brother Max here, we also have a little token for you because you did a very important job. We appreciate your presentation, your passion, and the articulation of great content. So I'm gonna ask you to step over. Ladies and gentlemen, I was asked to pin him and to make him an honorary Tennessee Foster person. And we are also sending him to the market. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I'm great one. <laughs> and when you come to GC Foster College again, we'll lay out a red carpet for you, right? Okay. Think I've done my job here. Thanks. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> yes. All right, come. Come on. We're going to call on our former president of the Table Tennis Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Track and field and, and many other roles that you played. So many to mention. I'm sorry, sir. Beg your pardon. Okay, and we have a very important lady who has been with us on many occasions. She came for some days in the training, but um, was unable to make it each day. She came to the sports day as well. 
And I think she came to another function. And um, I'm going to invite her. She's looking at me now. Minan, did I get your name right? <laughs> Minan, come forward and receive a presentation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Over to you, Chairman. We like to give away at GC Foster. We give away scholarships. We give away everything. So before Karen comes back, we're going to have a giveaway to the participants asking one simple question. And I want us to just look at who is the first hand up. So we have been here for two weeks, and the question I'm, be, I'm asking is, who was the first presenter from GC Foster College? I saw the hand up here. Yes, that was the first hand. The great one, come and get your presentation. Thank you, everyone. Great one, Michael, Dr. Dawkins. Thank you for the gift, GC Foster team. Much appreciated. Um, I think the second to last item, I'm going to invite uh, Judith to come forward to make a couple of presentations as well. Judith. Good morning, everyone. Firstly, I have to say a heartfelt thanks to all the participants. You really came through whatever I asked you for, I got. So I'm very, very grateful this morning. Before we go into the participants' presentation, there are three persons who would like to just give of themselves, uh, one from the EC group, one from the primary group, and one from the secondary group. So I'll call now on Miss Stacy John Charles to just say thank you. Good morning, everybody. Well, by now I think everybody know I'm a very strong, passionate person when it comes to ECCE. I don't miss a beat. So when the gentleman in front here spoke about he was challenged by four young ladies, I was the first one there greeting him with a very pleasant smile and an awful tone in my voice. So I, I won't lie on that. But I do thank you for the feedback that you gave us. I would like to thank Mr. Karen, wherever he is right now, for the information he gave us about getting grants to help our schools get sporting equipment. So GC Foster, hmm, where do I start? Where do I stop? It'll go on and on and on. So GC Foster, we say thank you to you because we have learned that instead of the actual beginning being at primary level, you all taught us that we start from by my level, which is ECCE, which is really good. And Miss King, I'm glad you're sitting down here today, you know, because I hope, I hope, I hope you'll hold, we, we, we participants could hold you accountable. You, you, you see, that's the thing about Trinidad and Tobago, we get to hold people accountable in this workshop. So we hold you accountable for the changes that are coming. And we hope that more doors open for ECCE. You know, ministry seems to forget that we are the foundation of the education system. So we're holding you there. Go back to GC Foster. 
all the lecturers were great. They impacted each and every one of our lives in so many different ways. Mainly for ECCE is opening the doors to show us that we, even though we feel like the outside child, we are no longer there. We have been included in the system, we are being filtered in, and knowledge given to us when we go back to our centers. We are able to, may have to do a lot of, re, a lot of rethinking and tweaking of the curriculum to fit in this physical education because this is not just movement alone. It have techniques that they have to learn. It have strategies that we need to put in place to make sure that when they get to that primary level, you know that foundation is cast and then they step up from there. So GC Foster, thank you for opening that window, that door, that crack, that crevice. And hey, we really do look forward to phase two of this. At least I am. So thank you to everyone. Thank you, Stacey. And I'll call Ms. Janelle Johnson Friday to speak on behalf of the primary group. <laughs> Hi, good day to everyone. All protocols observed. Um, on behalf of the primary crew all right i would just like to say thank you to all the lecturers at gc foster college especially our facilitator miss andrea hoot thomas and mr daly michael daly yes all right they made our sessions fun, very interactive. They passed on all their knowledge to us and we hope that we would make you proud in the near future. Three words that are etched in our minds from this entire program. Commitment, dedication, and passion. Thank you. Thank you very much, Roger. Roger is committed to being that moral support. And on behalf of the secondary group, we have Ms. Rennell Ford. Um, is this mic tall enough for me? All right, there we go. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, Mr. Gabriel Mactier, Director of Physical Education and Sport in the Ministry of Sport and Community Development. Mr. Ephraim Serret, Consultant at Sport. Ms. Mignon King, Curriculum, Curriculum Coordinator of Physical Education and Sport in the Ministry of Education and her officers. Mr. Kyron Serret, Senior Manager of Business Development at Sport and his staff. Dr. Dawkins and fellow GC Foster delegates, media, specially invited guests, fellow participants. I just want to say thank you to my team, Trinbigo Avengers. But, <laughs> kidding, that's not why I'm here. <laughs> but still, shout out to my team. Um, on behalf of the Secondary School Coaches Group, allow me to express our gratitude. This has been a fruitful and impactful two weeks. Some of us are coaches, educators, and administrators in the field of sport. And this cur program curriculum may have been a refresher for some and an intro to new knowledge, but we will, have, we will leave here with something. We all would have left here with something new. Either way, to GC Foster, we appreciate your enthusiasm and passion to sport, the layout and program format, which was easy to follow and thoroughly disseminated, your relatability and willingness to understand our cultural differences, and subsequently your patience to discuss problem-solving strategies, and lastly, your encouragement to fly the flag of sport high and be the ambassadors here for grassroots sport in our various, at our various levels. For me, it was an amazing experience doing track workouts as I'm a volleyball player. 
and people were mama guying me about getting into it. So I'm considering retiring and probably pursuing a career in, in track. What do y'all think? No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> High jump. All right. I'm sure I can say on behalf of the participants, it was an honor to network, work together, and share ideas. And we look forward to the continued work with GC Foster College and their contribution to the development of sport here in TNT. Also, I want to say thanks to the Ministry of Sports and Community Development and Ministry of Education for making this a reality. And what comes next regarding policy, as well as SportTT for implementation and overseeing this program. And I look forward to having a place to stay when I visit Jamaica for vacation. <laughs> Thank you, and congrats to also my fellow graduates. Thank you. Now, the participants felt, and I'm so grateful, you know, it's always good to give thanks. Thanks to God for the past two weeks with all the heat and heat in so many ways that it brought and uh, to the togetherness of the team. And when I say team, I go from sport, education, the facilitators, the participants, the persons in the background who you see all the time and are always willing to help. Just to show our gratitude for the fact that the two weeks is over, but that the journey has just started. The participants decided to get together and say a special thank you to our facilitators. But before I do so, there was great admiration for three young ladies in our group. Although very full <laughs> and about to be very fruitful, they did not waver in their participation. It was truly, truly amazing. So we as a group just thought it best that we would just um, present you with something this morning. So Ms. Drizzle Regis. I'm sure. Yes, go ahead. My <laughs> Miss April McClashy. And of course, our superwoman, Mr. Nisha Spencer Wilson. So I ask the great one.
think I probably need some tissue yes? <laughs> And now to our JC Foster team. Thank you very much, as all the presenters before would have said. It was a true pleasure having you here today, and the participants would just like to say, by the tokens that they will be presenting you with today, thank you very much. So, I now call on Mr. Roger Riley and Ms. Janelle Smith. Ms. Janelle Smith, could you come forward, please? Now, Janelle, that was special, especially for you. I was just putting people, and Roger said, no. I want to give it to Janelle. So. <laughs> Mr. Roger Moore, Ms. Sasha Gay Henry, could you come forward, please? Miss Andrea Hu Thomas, could you come forward, please? Do win. Now, I was asking around, and nobody could say, well, everybody was saying, but I don't know her. We didn't interact with her so much. But eventually, Mr. S. Ann agreed. So I'll ask Ms. Caroni Gregory to come forward, please. <laughs> I didn't see anybody taking out the camera. Caroni was always there with her camera and taking out pictures of everyone. <laughs> and the young lady that's always behind the computer, keeping records, sending emails, we asked Miss Yvonne Dixon to come forward. And Samuel, could you present her? I ask Mr. Michael Dealey to come forward and Renell.
Sport Enhancement Training Program, please accept this token of our appreciation. Mr. Davis, could you come forward, please? <laughs> Stacy. Now, Stacy wanted to present this, huh? As well. Mr. Marlon Gale. <laughs> Candy. We would normally leave Dr. Dawkins for last, but I was asked to leave the great one for last. So Dr. Dawkins, could you come forward, please? <laughs> Kelsey. And the great one, I was told specifically by Rhonda, that's my own, eh? Just like that. So, <laughs> Mr. Anders, could you come forward, please? Once again, thank you very much to the GC Foster team. Now, it's only fitting that since we have the president of the Secondary Schools Track and Field Association here, I think it's very fitting for him to just say thank you on behalf of the entire group. So, Mr. Joseph Buscha.
Pisces, you know? We can, <laughs> all the time I had some stuff in my head, somebody said something. And I, <laughs> right, so um, all, all protocols observed. I think that we're supposed to say. Right, I don't want to call everybody name, right? Um, back in January, I was invited to join some stately people, you know, to make a trip to Jamaica. And we have one, two, three of them here. Four, to be down in the back, right? Um, I didn't know what to expect. I don't, you know, we were going to the Mecca. And, um, they told me that we are going to Chisi Foster. And they told me that it is in Spanish town. So I did some research on Spanish town. I didn't want to go to Spanish town. <laughs> <laughs> right? So we, 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 we got there, and I am so very happy that I could finally get some photos with my eyes open, because there's one online sitting next to the minister with my eyes closed. I was meditating. <laughs> right? <laughs> but when this, um, yes, you have to meditate when you sit close to the minister. Right? But when this came up, you know, I was there with the planning and, and so on. I was not supposed to be on this course. Um, if you ask Mr. Neptune, I told him, I said, ask <laughs> Kyron, I said, come for two days. The first day to say hi to some people I met before. The second day just to play fast. And after that, I gone. I will drop in from time to time and the chaos stopped me. But I got caught by the information. I got caught by the enthusiasm. I got caught by the you know, just the nature of the people. And not just of GC Foster, but of you, the participants how eager you are. And as Judith said, I am president of secondary school track and field. And you have to be strategic as a president. I told myself, if people sit in this course to carry forward track and field in Trinidad Tobago, I should be here too. And I told Kyron, I wasn't coming back, and Kyron said, hey, hey, hey. So that kind of sealed it, right? But the information that we got here goes far beyond knowing how to hurdle, goes far beyond knowing how to sprint, goes far beyond periodization and all of that. And as Doc put it, this is not information, this is knowledge. This is knowing how to do. Um, and where is Dr. Gill? You know, he says, when you can't do it anymore, you should know it. And I want to thank Mr. Davis, who stopped me from doing it when my hip started to give some problems <laughs> and relegated me to announce yesterday. I had no problem with that, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Davis, my physiotherapist. Right? Yeah, you gave me a good stretch. So I think I in for a stretch later, too. Right? But I think that we are set. And Mr. Serrett said it well. And Karen, that is. My friend didn't say anything, all right? <laughs> um, everybody, I mean, I, they're right here, and how do you make trouble take them? We are change agents, and we're from everywhere. We're from north, south, central, Tobago, west, east, everywhere. We might be in small pockets, but if you take a little bit of ink and you drop it in water, at a molecular level, there's ink there, don't you, though you can't see it. So we are change agents. Don't let your light go out. When you go back, and have, we have a thing we say in church, when you go to a convention and you come down, you say you come down the mountain. When you go back to your valley, right, and you go back to people who don't, who, who, weren't, who, wasn't, um, who weren't exposed to this virus of enthusiasm, don't let them kill your joy. Go back there and work. Convince people. Let them know what can happen. We look at Budapest. We look at Olympics. And if we don't do something now, that will be us for the next umpteen amount of years. We have to do something now. 
And so I want to thank G.C. Foster. I want to thank the Minister of Sport, Minister of Education, the Ministry of Sport and Community Development, Mr. Um, sorry, say sorry, folks. I want to give the man his right title, Dr. McTe. Right? Every time I see him, that, so if you see him, just call him Dr. McTe. He will tell you he's no doctor, but um, he answers anyway. Right? <laughs> at, at, you know, I want to thank Ms. King. I want to thank Mr. Serret and the team. You know, we, uh, Mr. Kyron Serret and Mr. Ephraim Serret, who's sitting in front here, and ensure that I could call who I call. Right? But Mr. Ephraim Serret is very influential as well in what is happening here today and what has happened over the last couple of days. So I want to thank um, you, us, the media team, Mr. Ronald and his crew, the boomerang, you know, for the food, right? As one participant said, I don't know what will happen tomorrow morning. <laughs> that, that how bad it is, you know. You get up in the morning and you're waiting. By 10 o'clock, nothing ain't coming. Get up and cook it. Right? We've been spoiled. So thank you all very much, and may we all have a good day. You see, Foster, this is not goodbye. This is just goodbye. All right. Thank you, Mr. Brewster. So, so um, so I was about to wrap up, but since Mr. Brewster kept um, poking, poking, I'm now going to invite Mr. Ephraim Serret. And for everybody who asking, if he, no, he's not my dad. Ephraim is my, Ephraim is my first cousin. So I'm now going to invite Mr. Ephraim Serret to come and say a few. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I made it my business to be here this morning. I only came in last night from Budapest, and I think my time in was great. And I guess as a sprinter, timing is of the essence. A former sprinter, I should say. But um, I am very pleased with what I've seen here this morning. And I have been following with Chiron while I was out, how things were progressing. And uh, Mr. Brewster just mentioned, you know, one Serret and the next Serret didn't say anything. I said, I think I better say something. I'm disappointed, though, that there's no representation here from the National Athletic Association. Very, very disappointed. Um, we have secondary schools, track and field association. Back in my tenure, there was a primary school track and field association who worked very closely with my administration then, when the secondary schools association was competing with the federation. <laughs> So I think we need to make those connections and not leaving out ECC, whether they need to have an association as well. But we need to get those things up and working with the National Federation. I always tell people, track and field is the mother of all sport. Run, jump, throw. And we have data, I say we, I'm no longer the Federation, but there is data to prove that athletes who would have participated in, in those programs have moved on to volleyball, they have moved on to football. Nicholas Paul, the cyclist, was part of our program in the early days. Samantha Wallace, the big netball player, was part of this program. So it's not just about track and field, but it is the foundation. And I would want to see that we make those connections with those associations, primary schools, secondary schools, ECC, and the Federation, the National Federation, to make this a reality. Uh, Brewster just mentioned Budapest, not a finals. Where do we go from there? Where do we go from there? Who are the next Jerry Richards? Who are the next Richard Thompson? Where are they? I mean, this morning I was happy to hear that we have people from Penal, from Maruga. We need to find those people. We need to find them and bring them to the national stage to represent Trinidad and Tobago as we so have been represented over the years. So I just wanted to just say that. 
and so that Brewster wouldn't say that the other Sarah didn't say anything. <laughs> so thank you all, and I look forward. I mean, track and field is my passion. I don't think there's anybody with more passion than for me in track and field. I say it, and I say it all the time. If it was not for track and field, Ephraim Surratt don't know where he would have been. Track and field has given me everything I have in life, and I would continue to contribute and give as much as I can for the sport. So again, thank you all, and congratulations. Thank you, Ephraim. And um, I think that is now the end of our festivities today. I think this went extremely well. Congratulations again to the, the participants for your time, for your effort. Thank you. Congratulations and thank you for what, what I, I will take the liberty of saying our friends at GC Foster. Right, looking forward to continuing to stay in touch and so on. I omitted one person earlier who would have been here also every day, lending assistance, very quiet in the background, with his hat on, head down, moving whatever. Uh, Mr. Gajika Rohan. Rohan. So this is Rohan, you can just stand up. Right, so Rohan has also been here very quietly assisting with whatever is required. And just so you all know, Rohan is actually a, a master's student at the University of Portsmouth. He's actually here on internship, doing his dissertation. And um, we, have, we have a partnership with Sport Company. So he was here, he stayed for the entire time. So I just want to tell Rohan thanks for all his assistance and for being here and contributing. Right, so... Okay. Nice. No problem. Okay. <laughs> Thanks again, Rohan, and thank you, Caroni. <laughs> so, right, so I, I think now I, I will, this brings us to the close. Again, I want to say thanks to everyone. Um, in terms of what is happening after, um, are we going to wait for that, according to Brewster, that, that one last time, where we'll be. <laughs> you'll have the food from Boomerang, so savor it, enjoy it. <laughs> I understand as well, we have some, some drinks, uh, some refreshments, I should say. I think that's a better word, refreshments. Um, for us to enjoy our, each other's company and discuss our next steps moving forward. And then Mr. Davis has a picture. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, we're gonna do. We're gonna coordinate a, a picture as well afterwards. I'm looking in back there. I mean, they have no representation here, but also MTS for being around as the security guards. So yeah, so thanks to them as well. All right, so all the participants, make your way to the front. Um, see how best we can do this.